third, uh, this rock here is the Sugarloaf Mountain Quartzite, or Sugarloaf Mountain Sandstone. And again, rock we've seen until now, the age is a little bit uncertain. It's almost identical to rocks that show up in the Blue Ridge on the other side of the Frederick Valley. However, there's a couple of faults between here and there, so the comparison is a little bit shaky. But it is probably on the order of five to six hundred million years old. Uh, I stop right here because here you can see very, very nice ripple marks. These look like the ones I drew on the blackboard or whiteboard for current ripples. So these are not these are not wave ripples. This was actually a current of water. If this is right side up, then it was flowing in that direction. In different directions of the water. Now, the, here at the summit, or close to the summit of Sugarloaf Mountain, is the highest point in the Maryland Piedmont. Now, this quartz, or this quartz rock, quartz sandstone, is nearly 100% quartz. It's very clean, pure quartz. So going back to the time it was deposited, that means it's what's called a very mature sediment. All of the unstable minerals have been weathered away, and the only thing that's left is the quartz. So this wasn't just dumped here. This has gone through a, a, probably a couple of geological cycles. Uh, the fact that it shows these nice ripple marks in it suggests that it is indeed a shallow, very shallow water sediment, and it's been called a beach sand. Now, I said it was the highest point. Why is this the highest point in the, in the Piedmont? Well, you saw the rocks below here at the last stop. They're partially carbonate and partially plastics that are not pure quartz, which weather a lot more easily. What's happened is that the level here has gradually been worn down by weathering and erosion, and the one that weathers the slowest is made of quartz, because quartz is chemically very stable, and the one that physically weathers the slowest is quartz, because it has the most hardness of seven. So between the two of them, if you've got a rock that's made of quartz, it's the one that's going to stand up the highest, not because it was raised up any higher, but simply because it resists being lowered down. Okay. This again is still a metamorphic rock here. It's very difficult to tell right here, but if we go up and look at the exposed rock up there, we can get to see the evidence for it. Can we go up there? Yes, you can go up there. Alrighty. I'm going to I'm going to go over and look the rock over here first, but then I want to go up to the top.